What's up, Dynamites? It's Kennedy from Dynamic Reactions, and we are here for Heartstopper! <laughs> I am so excited to be back here with y'all for season two, okay? Um, no worries. We're still supporting this strike. I am not scabbing, okay? Uh, special thanks to your internet mom, Ash, and her amazing coverage of, like, strike stuff in terms of reactors because, like, she's been teaming up and getting lists from people of shows that are okay to react to. And thanks to her Heartstopper video, I know that Heartstopper is okay to react to, so <sighs> we're here. I'm happy. I was gonna record this anyway to be posted post-strike, even if um it uh, was on the strike list because I know that y'all love this show. I love reacting to this show. I'm just so excited that we're here to react to season two. Okay. Um, I'm really excited. So without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Look at my babies. Oh my God. <laughs> Starting, I cannot. Oh, I cannot. It's so cute. Okay, vocals. Period. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're so cute. Why is this adorable? I'm screaming. Oh my god. Oh my god. They can't keep their hands off each other. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, stop it. I can't, I can't remember if they kissed, help. I can't remember if they've kissed yet. Excuse me. You're cute. No, I... <laughs> this is too much cuteness for my life. How? Oh, he's running away. Not him running away. Express your feelings. <laughs> Dairy milk Oreos? Is that like a thing? My UK people, is that a thing? What? What do they taste like? Leave it in the <laughs> Okay, good. She has her boundaries. I'm happy. Is this like an actual thing? They actually... Oh no. Thank you, teacher. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mr. Farouk. The Browns! In the next couple weeks, I'll be supervising your independent GCSE revision. My rules are simple. Uh oh. No chatting, no phones, no annoying questions. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nick. Nick. <laughs> Not the 
roll her back, man. <laughs> Sir, you supposed to be studying for your exam. Mind your business. Ew. And he does not have to engage with you. So? This man walking around with the rulers taking me out. And first of all, this one still needs to learn his lesson, okay? Just because you apologize for something does not mean that that person has to interact with you. And secondly, he needs to work out his internalized homophobia still because the frick, why? Don't get caught with your phone, but see, Liz, I know you're in love, but we gotta work smarter, not harder. Oh, hi. Who, who is this boy? I'm sorry, I'm black. It's in my nature to um, notice the chocolate drops and nurture the chocolate drops and want to see more of the chocolate drops. <laughs> we haven't communicated about our feelings. Smart friend. Ah! Oh my god. Good low key flirt, Basti. Good low key flirt. Oh, did he pick up the Oreos for him? The little nose wiggles. I can't. That boy better be ready to come out soon. If they keep at it like this, they, um, <laughs> they're going to accidentally out themselves. <laughs> oh my God, they're so cute. We're going to Paris. Boo. He was like, I'll kiss you anywhere I want. Oh my God. I wonder what his sister thinks. She just watches so gingerly from the corner. I know she got thoughts rolling around in there. Oh. Tao, oh my God. Someone help this boy. He needs help with how to talk to girls. He's noticing. He's like, I'm single. No, nah, not that joke. I'm screaming. Take it slow. Take it slow. Yeah. Okay. You you really can't rush it. You really can't rush it. It's so 
weird watching this considering what happened to um Nick's actor. I for, I forget his name. Y'all can remind me of his name in the comments. But he had to come out and he didn't have to, but he felt pressured to as bisexual once the series started popping off because people had the nerve to be questioning his sexuality over the internet. And not only is that inappropriate, it's rude and just outlandish. Someone's sexuality is something that's so personal and they shouldn't feel pressured to come out unless they're ready for it. And I feel like this being a storyline of season two for Nick kind of hits the nail on the head. Sir, please, not the Titanic reference. <laughs> not this, sir! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Sorry. I wish I could be inside his head. Sir, 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 the defense. Why the defense? Oh my God. The gay support. I'm screwing. You got this, Nick. No, I should have let you say it. <laughs> She's like, he's bisexual. Yeah. Who is it? Ben? Like, like, like Nate Jacobs wannabe Ben? Am I getting that Ben correct? I'm like waiting for, yeah, 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 that's what I was waiting for. He was waiting for it too. Uh, uh, I can't believe you went into space. <laughs> it's like showing such a slow transition of him coming into himself. It's so nice. Wait, friend? I thought I'd probably just tell you. You were my boyfriend. Oh, they haven't, he hasn't said. Oh, Lord. Oh Lord! Not until you're married. I'm screaming. Not the parental lockdown. She might be. Mm-hmm. She's so concerned. 
He's going to try and do everything that he can, but, you know, ignorant people can't be avoided. I mean, he looks happy, but there are going to be those moments where he's not going to be able to protect him from everything. And his sister knows that. Look at her. Oh, my God. No, not her crying. I. He's going to struggle. It's it's natural. It shouldn't be natural, but it is. That's just how humans are. And that's the way that this world works. And that's what this season is going to be about. Oh, my God. Um, I'm scared. That was that was a very ominous note. Now I'm scared. <laughs> now I'm concerned because we just spent the whole episode living in their happiness. And I feel like it's going to come crashing back down to reality real quick within these next few episodes. But I love the way that this show tells the story of being in an LGBTQ relationship, um, being LGBTQ period and finding yourself and feeling comfortable and coming out <laughs> as a straight person. They're doing a really good job of, you know, illustrating all of that. I'm just scared for what's going to happen to my babies. Y'all know I love them. I don't like to see them in pain. But yes, thank y'all for watching this episode of Heartstopper with me. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to be reacting to Heartstopper every single Monday. So keep your eye out on this channel for that Oshinoko on Wednesdays. Y'all know the drill. But yeah, don't forget that you're important and I love you. And I'll see you on the next one.